Hi, I hope you all are fine and doing very well. I am Shachishmita and back again in Humans YouTube channel Kim Explore. Just a very short introduction on myself, especially on my professional life. I have completed my PhD in chemistry from Germany. Then I have moved to the Netherlands to pursue my postdoc. I have posted another video on PhD applications in Germany. Those who have not seen the video yet are very much requested to have a look on that video. The link of the video you can find in the description box. I believe that video is really helpful for the students who want to pursue their PhD in Germany. On that particular video, I already talked about you need to attach three different files when you are applying for the PhD or when you are writing your mail to the professor for your application of PhD. And these three different files are your CV, your letter of motivation or motivational letter and your research summary of your master projects. In this particular video, I will be talking about the letter of motivation. So this letter of motivation or motivational letter often called as cover letter also. But there is a slight difference between the cover letter and the letter of motivation. So the cover letter we are writing when we are applying for the job or when we are applying to the industry. So for the cover letter you already have a, a professional experience. So you are describing your professional knowledge or your experiences and also describing yourself as a suitable candidate for the post you are applying for. But for the motivational letter or the letter of motivation, you are showing your interest to that particular field. It may not be the case that you are highly professional on that field, but you have a very strong desire or strong urge to work on that field. I will say for PhD or postdoctoral application, it is more about the letter of motivation where you will show or you will stress why you want to work on that particular group or on that particular field or what is the motivation behind it. You can see that the name itself letter of motivation is telling that what you have to write in that letter. But uh, for the PhD application, uh, in addition of the in addition of showing your interest for the application or for work in that field, you will also mention what knowledge or what technical skills you already have to work on that field. And I will say it is not at all very good idea to apply to the professor for the PhD without letter of motivation because your letter of motivation is as important as your CV is. Because the CV is telling about your academic record. It is showing that you got this grade or you qualified this examination or you got this scholarship. But it doesn't show that how enthusiastic you are as a person to work on that field. So for the professor or for the guide, it is equally important to know or to see your enthusiastic nature. And secondly, I will say that each letter of motivation should be unique for each application. So it should never be the copy paste letter of motivation. Maybe you can keep the outline, not maybe, you can keep the outline of the letter of motivation same for all the applications, but the taste, uh, or, sorry, but the text should be different for each of the letter of motivation. So and for that you have to really spend a little bit of time in writing this letter of motivation and for that also you have to read the research interest of that particular professor what you can found uh, what you can find from his or her web page and also I will tell you that it is always better to read one or two of his or her very famous papers. So you will get an idea on which field uh, he is working on. So uh, now come to the outline for the letter of motivation. I will suggest you it is always better to split 
into small paragraphs rather than writing in a very big and lengthy para because the professor is not only getting your application he or she is getting thousands of applications so it will be always interesting and catchy also when you are breaking a lengthy para into small small paragraphs so uh, first i would say if you would like to give your personal uh, details so you can write it on the top right corner of the letter but it is not mandatory for the letter of motivation to give your personal details personal details means your name your contact number your uh, uh, email address and your address but it is really really mandatory for the cover letter and then you can start the letter of motivation by addressing the professor by calling his or her name like dear professor doctor xyz then i will come to the main body for the letter so in the first paragraph you will introduce yourself that i am shuchishmita or i am xyz and currently i am pursuing my masters from this university and i am doing my master project with this professor and in this field and i am really really interested to work with you uh, so please consider uh, this letter of motivation for my application so you can then close this first paragraph then moving to the second paragraph where you will be discussing about on which field the professor is working little bit and you will stress why you want to work on that particular field that is really 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 important and if you are switching your field like from where you have performed your uh, master project and most of the time we are doing that so you have to also stress why you are switching this and what is the motivation or interest that is leading you to write this application to that particular group so that is the main paragraph for this letter and you have to really spend a little bit of time in writing this and this paragraph should be different for each of the letter of motivation and then in the third paragraph i will say you will also discuss about the uh, scientific knowledge you already have or the technical skills or the instrumental knowledge you already have that is needed to work on that field so the professor will know that you are not a completely layman so you know something already but you are also interested to know more or to uh, know further to work on this so in this paragraph show your knowledge already what you have for this particular field and also what more you want to learn that this more instrumental techniques what you will learn and uh, how it will help you so in the next paragraph you will show that uh, you are really good in the communication and writing that is really 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 important so it doesn't matter how good knowledge you have but it always matters that how good you can express it so the communication skill is really important so you also show that you are good in the communications and also you have a very strong writing skills and also you to you say about some the software knowledge what you have especially the chemistry software because the other software uh, uh, we know already a little bit but what you need is the chemistry software like the uh, chem draw or chem craft or shy finder what you have used and what you want to learn so always show your motivation that you were willing to learn new thing but you already know little bit about it so this is the two thing is really important so i think this all about the body and then you can conclude the letter of motivation in the next paragraph where you will thank the professor for his or her time to read this letter and also to consider your application and also show your willingness that you are ready any time for the further uh, discussion or for the further interview for this application and also uh, uh, tell that you attach the cv and also consider the cv and the research summary for further details
then you can show your regards and you can write your name i think that is all for the letter of motivation so it is not that many difficult uh, uh, so i know you will do really 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 good and i wish you all the very best for your application i believe and i hope that you will really get the position what you are looking for so that's all for today and i wish you good luck and a very happy and healthy life and always keep learning bye bye for today